welcome to Miss Rachel YouTube channel, guys. Okay. And to start with the 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 man of the family, let's know your name, where you come from, and the and where you are now. My name's Oliver. Well, most people call me Ollie. I'm English, and um, we are in Diani Beach, Kenya. Mm -hmm. From which part of? Uh, which part of the UK? I was uh, born in a place called Blackpool, which mm -hmm. is like a, a seaside town that they forgot to close down, mm -hmm. which is in the uh, northwest, in, in a place called Lancashire, mm -hmm. northwest of uh, England. Okay. Yeah. Which year were you born? 1974, October 74. So you're, you're 49 years 49, right? just turned 49. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. And what do you do? I'm an airline pilot in the UK, mm -hmm. and uh, I manage some rental properties as well mm -hmm. in the UK and uh, Spain as well. For how long have you been into airlines? Um, I got my commercial pilot's license in 2003. I started flying in late 1999, okay. and then by May 2003 I had my commercial license. Mm -hmm. And then by early 2004, mm -hmm. I've been earning a living from aviation, from flying okay. ever since, really. Okay, are you still flying? Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, um, I work about seven months in the UK mm -hmm. full time mm -hmm. through the summer season mm -hmm. and then take five months off in the winter mm -hmm. which is the Kenyan summer mm -hmm. and then come out here mm -hmm. and then I also have the odd trip maybe for three weeks four weeks yeah. coming out during the UK summer as well okay. um, the shortest trip I've ever done out here is 10 days okay. which is not really long enough okay. so try and make it a longer trip this one is five months okay. Yeah. So that's why you're here now in Kenya. That's why I'm here, yeah. It's Waiting right. for the arrival of this one. Okay. <laughs> and now go back to the lady. Tell us your name, where you were okay. born, and where you are now. Yeah. Uh, I'm Marion. Yes. Shelagat. Uh -huh. Shiboy. Uh -huh. uh, I'm a Kalenji. Uh -huh. I'm from Eldoret. Uh -huh. Which yeah. community? Uh, Maraguet. Okay. Kalenji, yeah. I'm from Maraguet. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. A little far from end of that time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now I'm Diane, you're settling in Diane. Uh -huh. yeah. When did you move from Marrakech uh, to Diane? No, not from Marrakech actually, from Eldoret uh -huh. to Diane. Yes. I came in uh, 2018 mm -hmm. to look for a place to stay with my kids because the life I was having in Eldoret mm -hmm. wasn't good for me. I was not happy. Okay. So I had to look for a transfer mm -hmm. from Eldoret mm -hmm. to Mombasa. Mm -hmm. Then I just liked to be in Ukunda. So I loved Ukunda. So I looked for an apartment and then I went back mm -hmm. to take uh, my son, which is Damien. Okay. That time he was uh, two years. Yes. Almost three years. And then my daughter was around um, seven, which is Chris. She was still in school in Eldoret. Yes. So I had to travel with my son, Damien, yeah. in 2019 actually, to relocate in Biani. Mm -hmm. Because I was work I'm working for Hako Industry. So, Hako Industry. Yeah, Hako Industry. Yeah. Yes. So I had to come with Damien to only three school suitcases mm -hmm. to Biani. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like I wanted to be in Coast, because I've never been here. Yes. But the life that I had in Eldoret was so painful. How was it? Uh, I can't call in a trip, just like, I can't. It makes me cry. It's because the relationship I was having, it wasn't good. It wasn't making me happy because nothing was happening. Oh, it was because of the relationship you Yeah, had Yeah, it was really oh. horrible. Uh -huh. So it made me just relocate the farthest I came uh -huh. and I moved to Kuala. Uh -huh. So I came to Kuala in 2019 uh -huh. with three suitcases, mine, my daughter, and my son. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't carry anything because I had no money to pay. Yeah. I carried a thing to carry everything mm -hmm. I had in Eldoret. Mm -hmm. So I started first. I said, the same God who met me mm -hmm. have those things in Eldoret, the same God who just met me to have in the end. Mm -hmm. So I came to the end in 2019. Mm -hmm. Without grace initially. Without grace, actually. I left the grace with my friend mm -hmm. in Eldoret. Okay. But it wasn't something that I could, I wished to leave my daughter behind. Yeah. But I had to yeah. because mm -hmm. I had made my decision. Okay. It was a very painful but big one. Yeah. But it was the best. Okay. So you so, come to that. But uh, why you move from Eldoret to Diani, right? And yeah. how you settled and how you uh, managed life, mm -hmm. right? So 
So briefly, mm. Ado, tell us how it was growing up for you, like uh, with siblings, parents, schooling. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I grew up, um, Blackpool is a busy seaside town. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite a poor part of the UK. Now, it wasn't so bad when I was growing up. Yes. It's kind of a faded seaside town that has got worse since the... Victorian era, which was its heyday. Mm. So the Victorian era was, um, I think, 1837 to 1901. Yeah. That's when it was really popular as a seaside destination. Mm -hmm. And then since then, it's kind of been in decline. Yeah. But not as bad. Mm -hmm. um, when I was growing up compared to what it's like now. Mm -hmm. But even today, it's still a popular seaside town. Okay. So it's quite a fun place to grow up. We were a normal working class mm -hmm. family. Yes. I thought we were poor, but we had everything. Yes. You know, we had um, hot water, we had a family car, we had nice clothes. Yes. You know, I went to a normal school. Everything was just pretty uh, down to earth and mm -hmm. just very working class, really. Yes. Um, there was no privilege there. Mm -hmm. Um, How like, many siblings? Um, no, my mother divorced from my father when I was very young, okay. so I am an only child. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So you moved with your mom or you were left with your dad? I grew up with my uh, mother and her husband, yeah, who's not actually my father. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. And how was school growing up for you? Um, it was okay, school. I didn't really uh, enjoy school, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I did okay. I was reasonably bright, mm. yeah. Okay. But when I finished school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, like a lot of yeah. kids in the north, yes, you yes. know, just <laughs> sort of kicking around on a piece of ground in, in, your, own, in your hometown and looking for waiting for someone or something to show you the way mm. and that thing didn't really happen until I found aviation mm -hmm. you know until I found that mm -hmm. I wasn't I didn't know where I was going okay. when I found flying then everything changed okay yeah. so you joined college which year um would that have been about 1992 mm -hmm. something like that yeah. okay I am and uh, generally how was life in UK like, yeah, it was it, it was fine. I mean, you don't know anything else when you're growing up. Our family holidays were always in the UK. Okay. My mum and dad were scared of flying. Okay. So my only experience was life in the UK. Okay. So I had really nothing else to judge it against. Amazing. You know. And come to the lady, tell us how it was for you growing up and when were you born? Uh, I was born the year 1990, yes. 10th of August. Yes. The same remote areas in Marrakech. So you're that four years now? Mm, 33. 33 years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I feel I've been the same, same remote places and it's far, you know? Yeah. And uh, full of uh, these, um, the Bokos, you know, the, the Marrakech are fighting it's the Bokos. It's a Narod community. Yeah, but you see we fight too much about uh, animals, you know, still mm -hmm. because of that. So my educational background is really poor. Mm -hmm. Totally poor because uh, we end up going different schools. Okay. You know, shifting from island to lowland. You know, oh, yeah. when the fighters we go to island, when they settle a little bit, we go back to them. Oh. Yeah. So we didn't have that background, a mm -hmm. nice background in education. You're like normal, you you were never settled. You know? No, never. In education, never. Okay. So until when I went to high school, that's uh -huh. where I went to a nice school. In, uh, in Ireland, where the, 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 the people who are fighting us cannot reach. So yeah. that's why I tried to get a better education than oh. the primary school. Uh -huh. Then I went to college again, did yeah. um, education, you know. Oh, but I, yeah, I'm a teacher in yeah. profession, but I've never taught even a, a class. It's okay, because yeah. It wasn't what I want, but yeah. my brother wanted to finish it. Oh. I finished it. What were you wishing <laughs> Uh, I wanted to be like maybe a lawyer or a social worker because yeah, uh -huh. I like interacting with people. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then after college? So after college now I joined different companies now, working with different companies. Uh -huh. yeah. You started working in Elizabeth? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I worked for maybe three companies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then after working? Uh, we met and then... Uh, but before I met him, I was already running my own business. 
yes. and yes. then I resigned work yeah. in 2021 mm -hmm. because of my son Damien. Yeah. Damien never grew up with me. Yeah. I used to be working in different places. Mm -hmm. I could be in Malindi. Yeah. Or, uh, or Mombasa yes. for two weeks. Yes. I can't see him. So yes. it was. He used to live just with an house car. Okay. And it was not making me happy because all of a sudden I can get a phone call yeah. from the house car. Okay. Oh, Damien is sick. He used to be sick yeah. frequently. So I had to resign mm. because of him. Yeah. And I had to open two businesses mm. to run myself. Okay. Yeah. So here in Diani? Yeah, in Diani. In Diani. Okay. okay. And in, in Eldoret after finishing college, yeah? Yeah. Maybe talk about after that before meeting him. And no, of course I, I was when I finished the college I went straight to uh, I get a job. Mm -hmm. So I was working on that in Indo. Mm -hmm. So coming here it's just a transfer for me mm -hmm. to change the environment mm -hmm. that it was making me feel bad. Yeah. You said you were in a relationship. Talk about it before meeting him. Did you get married or maybe uh, you're a single mom? No. When I was in college I got um pregnant. Yeah. With your first daughter. Yeah, which is close oh, now. Okay, yes. And then, because in a college in community, oh. when like you're doing well in education, and you tend to have pregnancy before you finish your college, it's uh. like you're, you're embarrassing the family. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, because of that culture, I didn't uh. go back to my family. It was everyone oh, was speaking. I had to look for the family of this man. I've never met anyone in the family. Okay. So I looked for the parents and then I called the mother. Then we stopped. Then I said, I'm calling your son. Mm. Mm. And she said, Okay, I'll talk with my son. Then you come mm. in. Mm, I get it. So I had to call, I had to take my things from college. Yes. Suitcase. Yeah. To go stay with this guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the fa with him. Mm. But now it told me it's not um in a position to make me live in a better place. Because but, you are yeah, both of you. Yeah. Mm. So we had to live in a small room mm. made of mud yes. for eight hundred shillings. That's yes. where my chain of life started. Yes. I paid a rent of eight hundred, mm -hmm. which he was paying himself. Yes. Then when I, when I was uh, when my daughter was when I was six months pregnant with the, with with the, the daughter now, now yes the I had to look for a job. Yeah. Uh -huh. Six months. Then. Yeah, pregnant. Mm -hmm. So I had to look for a job, and I got a job. Mm -hmm. So I was paid thirty thousand. Wow. So I moved uh, from that house of eight thousand for eight hundred shillings mm -hmm. to a house of. Six thousand five hundred. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's how. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I moved from uh, that house, another house. By twenty seventeen. Yes. That's where now things are really worse for me what because uh, that relationship was not good because yeah. this guy I just had to have his a pregnancy, but it was not planning for anything. Mm. So like you were yeah. in love, you know. Mm. It just happened. It just it's happened nice. because yeah. of the family again. I just like repelling mm. you. I'm getting you. Mm -hmm. I had to accept that. Yeah, I know. But I try to say, okay, I can make it uh, better. You know, you. giving time that things can change. This man could get better. You know, mm. take care of me with the kids now. I've second born. Mm -hmm. The more I'm, he has a movie. So the more things. Yeah, with the same guy. Okay. A boy mm -hmm. and a girl. Yes. So when I was expecting the boy, mm -hmm. I call it was an awkward son. It was so painful for me. Mm, was he abusive? Maybe? Yeah, he was. Mm. Yeah. So he was like, trying to date other, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. older than me. Ah, so it was, was it physically a mental abuse? No, it's like every day, like he was doing everything you can just see, you know. Oh, yeah. I get it. So, uh, and I've tried my best to buy some things for him. Mm. I just tried my best, like you a woman that we're trying things for the better, mm. but they're trying, they just go on things mm. worse. Yeah. And I didn't tell anyone in the family, my family, that I'm going through a lot. Mm. And it's the last day I had to just move. And in fact, I moved to here before I tell anyone in my family what I was going through. So you ran away from him? From I just slipped him. Mm -hmm. And the mother, oh, knowing yeah. that I've gone, even yeah. the whole family of that guy yeah. knows me. I went, I know they ran away, but I just yeah. left the situation. Yes. But my family, I phoned them when I'm in Kwan. Yes. They were shocked. Yeah. I so said, you moved with your two kids, yeah? I moved to the only first one. Yeah. No, the, the second daughter. one. The second one. The daughter left in Haini Lorraine. She was here to do exams. Okay. So I left her to do exams. Mm -hmm. Then she had to come with another girl. Okay. I had to call Pika in Mombasa. Okay. So I was staying with my only. So on, the second yeah. one now, yeah. uh -huh. okay, yeah. in a house that there's no mattress, yeah. he was sleeping on a pet Yeah, and when was this? Which year now? Uh, that's 2019. 2019, uh -huh. yeah. 
And how was life as a single mom here in Kiana? There's nothing easy until you just accept the life that you have. Wow. Uh -huh. When you say, yeah, this is my life, yes. things will just flow for you. When you see it's hard, make it harder. It will become it will be so harder hard and complicated. Yes. Accept that I had to move from that relationship. Yes. But I was still looking for a man. Ah, oh, tell us about I that. focused on my kids yes. because they were the man number one. Yeah. My priority. Like I just <laughs> won't take care of them. Yeah. I couldn't feel like I'm going to have another man mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. Because it, it made me feel like all men are bad. Yeah. So I just focused on my job mm -hmm. and my kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for I was looking for any white man or any black man. Men mm -hmm. for me. Oh, yeah. Die. Mm -hmm. Only my kids mm -hmm. in my work. Okay. And I stayed for that from twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. Uh, 2020, 2021. That's when you meet, yeah? Mm. First. I'll be watching this video and maybe they are from abusive relationship and they are single man. Talk to them. Uh, first, I have to change the focus of like um, uh, going outside looking for a man. They have to put the kids first. They have to uh, like collect yourself know what you want, you know, because you can go from a, a relationship to a relationship and you still fail. Yeah. And that means uh, your kids will never even respect you yeah. because they will not understand what you are going through, but you are focusing the way. Yeah. You have to respect your children. Okay. If God is going to give you a man, he will give you, even if it's, I stayed for good five yes. years without mm. dating anyone. Mm. I didn't feel bad. Because my focus is my kids and the job. Okay. So they're not if, if you work out of a relationship, you're not a failure. You don't have to sacrifice your happiness saying that I'm going to uh because I want my kids to have a father. Mm. No, don't live in a life of a painful life because you want to make sure your kids have a father and then the real father. Okay. No. Okay. Move out of that thing. It's not work, it's not work. Okay. Don't force things to happen in your life. Okay. Run away, take of your kids, be happy. Always choose a okay. yeah, that choice. And for the kids who are from single parents, like now your kids, mm -hmm. and they are from abusive family, yeah? mm -hmm. what would you love them to know? Uh, for the kids now, you have to let them know why you are maybe in another, in another relationship and why not from their father's yeah. real father. Let them understand. Don't ever hate anything from your children. The truth always will make people uh, be happy and like um, accept that mom said this. And it's reality. They will grow to know anyway, you know. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to hide the truth. Mm -hmm. It's always Peter who mm -hmm. said. Okay. Yeah. Was it hard for them leaving their father and you living with them like alone? You see, for Chris. Mm -hmm. Uh, she can remember the father little when she was five or six, six five to seven years. Yeah. My my son Damian, nothing. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know. He has, like he remembers nothing because it was like when he was one year, this guy was not even coming to the house, mm -hmm. so he couldn't be grow knowing the father. He doesn't know the father. Mm -hmm. My son. Mm -mm. I still questioned you. About no, 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 nothing. Oh, okay. And you are not even scared. I'm scared. not scared. That's you know, making a that such decision is very hard. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Living because he, he didn't leave me. I was the one leaving him. Yeah. So I did it because of my kids. And your mentor. And my mentor. I want my happiness now. Mm. It doesn't mean when you have a man, you are happy. Mm. Happiness comes from you first before someone. So if you are happy, someone will just say, oh, this woman is happy, she can do it with me. So for me, moving out of that relationship is something I did mm. very well. I can clap on myself. Wow. And I, I like your college. Mm. So Oliver, after school, uh -huh. mm. what happened? So then I started working as a postman in Blackpool, delivering the mail to people's houses, mm -hmm. still not knowing uh, what I wanted to do with my life mm -hmm. and then uh, September 1999 I had a trial flying lesson at Blackpool Airport just for one hour and then I decided there and then that was it mm -hmm. my life was going to take on a new trajectory mm -hmm. so I um, 
started training while still working as a postman mm -hmm. and I got my private pilot's license within about 10 months wow. mm -hmm. and, but that's just a pride that's just for flying the small airplanes mm -hmm. and then from there I left the post office and trained full-time and okay. my commercial pilot's license mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then after that uh, maybe were you in relationship did you got family um I've been in relationships and, you know, have been in relationships, yeah. I've moved around uh, many different places. I've lived in the UK mm -hmm. with my work mm -hmm. uh, and with various flying jobs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how was your relationship? Um, I've had a number of relationships where it's lasted maybe three, three and a half years mm. and things have just fizzled out, you know, for one reason mm. or another. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Did you got like kids from those relationships maybe? No, I had, um, I lived with a girl for I think three, three and a half years mm -hmm. and we were trying for a child but it didn't, it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. We ended up splitting up over that actually. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, so, so before asking both of you how you met and when did you meet, I would love to know, did you ever see yourself like dating or marrying a Kenyan girl? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, dating, definitely. Mm -hmm. Marrying, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But dating, for sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Because my preference, would, you know, is for black girls. Mm. But I just find black girls more so attractive. you be dating black girls? Yeah, my ex-girlfriend in the UK was, um, she, she was English, but of Jamaican descent. Mm -hmm. She was born in London, so her, her family was Jamaican. Okay. Yeah. And growing also up as a young man, what was your dream life? How did you see life? <laughs> Oh, good question. Um, I don't know really. I don't think I had um, a set plan yeah. how I saw things. I really didn't. I didn't have uh, much direction. My first direction came when I started flying. Mm -hmm. And then the second real big piece of direction in my life came when our son arrived. Mm -hmm. When I thought, right, okay, this now gives us focus. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. yeah. But the way things are now, I'm content. We, I mean, we cherish the time, the family time that we we have together. Yeah. You know, we know that's the most important thing. Yeah, yeah. We cherish that above everything, I think. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Come to Marion. Growing up as a young girl, what was your dream? Like, how did you see yourself growing up? You know, I had some freaking who would dream the big, like, yeah. I want to be a pilot, I want to be a doctor, you know? <laughs> Tell us about that. No, that's came to be like uh, go to school for teaching you know but uh, like um like i was like oh, okay i want to marry a very rich man i want to have big house and you know, all those yeah. when you are young you know yes. but it took me time yeah but now we are yeah 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 okay mm -hmm. so come to how did you meet and which year okay so we met um it was late 2021. I'd come to the army. 2021. Yeah, 2021. Yes. Um, and there was a there's like a scooter tuk tuk place that I visited, and then next door was this Caricio street food mm -hmm. restaurant thing mm -hmm. place. So I thought, oh, I'll have a look in here, you mm -hmm. know. And then Marion was working there. Oh, okay. I didn't know that you know she she was the owner at that point. Oh, okay. And then we started chatting. She was very friendly, very mm -hmm. chatty. So we just started chatting there. And then, not every morning, but a lot of mornings I would Maybe go in for breakfast. Mm -hmm. You know, we would just chat yeah. mm -hmm. about life and things. Mm -hmm. And that's was how it started. Really. Okay. Was it the first time for you coming to Africa? Yeah, my only excursions into Africa prior to that would have been into Enfida Airport in Tunisia mm -hmm. in my previous life as a cargo pilot. Mm -hmm. That was it. Okay. So I've been to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I spent some time in Nairobi first of all. Which year? 
2021, before I came to Diani, because I came to um, Nairobi. I had a you know, months of time off, so my plan was to come to Kenya. Okay. I went to Nairobi, mm -hmm. and then I thought, should I go to Malindi or Diani? Mm -hmm. And I looked at it, and I thought, let me mm, go to Diani. Okay. Yeah. And I have been to I have been to Malindi since, but oh, I yeah. was not as enamoured with the place. Mm -hmm. I, I went I went I went to Malindi because um, there's a, a British model Naomi Campbell, mm -hmm. and she has a house in Malindi, mm -hmm. and I knew that. Yeah. And I thought, well, if it's good enough for Naomi, it's definitely good enough for me. Mm -hmm. But when I went there, I wasn't that impressed with Malindi really. Mm -hmm. I, I much prefer Diani. Diani is life. Uh -huh. yeah. And what were you expecting coming to Diani or Kenya for the first time? Um, when I, when I arrived at Diani International Airport, as I call it, and then got a tuk tuk to where I was staying, even. From that first trip, that I found it fascinating. Like all the little businesses and the little places that are there at the side of the road, you know? Mm -hmm. They probably weren't there yesterday. Yeah. They may not be there next week. <laughs> but <laughs> everything you want, yeah, you, can, you can get. And for me, it was like nothing I'd seen in the UK or Europe. It was probably maybe like the UK was a couple of hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But it, for me, it was fascinating mm -hmm. that this... It's chaotic mad place <laughs> kind of works you know so i i decided maybe within two or three days this is not just a holiday this place i felt a connection with the place like mm -hmm. a real strong connection mm -hmm. you know i was telling you uh, earlier about um, spain that my plan was to spend the winters in spain because mm -hmm. i don't like the uk winters that was my plan yes and then it was only the trip to kenya where everything changed and I thought, well, Spain, you know, Let me do it. I have no yes. interest in uh -huh. it anymore. Uh -huh. you know, I thought that was good mm -hmm. until I came here. Mm -hmm. So the connection I felt with the place, this was before yeah, we decided we were dating. Yes, uh -huh. The connection with the, the, the place was very strong. And I knew it was going to be more than just a holiday. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, I just loved the army. I'm so happy when I'm here. What did you love most? About? I just love the the chaotic madness of the place. You know, everything happens when it happens. Yes. There's no plan. Everything <laughs> happens on Kenya time. It's the total antithesis so to my life in the UK. Yeah. It's very different. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's um there's a little like cafe bar place up near. I call it Killer Junction up near Nivers. You may have come past there when you yeah. came uh -huh. in. And we can just sit there and look out at that junction, and the place is just teeming with life. You see everything. Yeah. You see a family of five on the back of a motorcycle and a three-seater sofa tied <laughs> on the back. Uh -huh. oh, you never, I've never seen anything like that in the UK. Uh -huh. You know, people, Kenyans are so, um, what's the word, Ingenu ingenuitive, I think. They, they just find a way. There's always a way of doing mm. things. To do things, and always survive. a way of doing something. <laughs> we'll go and um, look at a new bed or something. Marion will make a phone call. So yeah, that that will be delivered later. I'm like, what? Oh. That wouldn't happen in the UK. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, okay. a tradesman would turn up. You know, sometime late next week, and it just wouldn't happen in the same way that it happens here in Kenya. You know? oh. So I I love the. Um, we have more money in the UK. Yes. We have more money in Europe. Yeah. But Kenya has more life. Yeah. Oh, and this is why I say to that. people. Repeat that. <laughs> well, well, it's true. Yes. We have what more money, but, uh -huh. but Kenya has more life. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, is the there any life without money? It's full of adventure and life, and people live in the moment in a way that we just don't back home. My friend has been out here, I think he's been out three or four times. Mm -hmm. And he, at first, when I said I was coming out, I was like, ooh, ooh, I'm not sure about this. Is it safe? Mm -hmm. You know, this kind of thing. <laughs> now he's been out here four times. We yeah. can't get rid of him, mm -hmm. can we? <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely loves the place. And he feels the same. And I thought about it. We were sat out here having a drink. He's only gone home a few days ago. Yeah. And I thought, good. we have spent more time, yeah. quality time, out here in Kenya than we ever do in the UK. Yes. Yeah. Because... We work like hamsters on a wheel, mm. just chasing money all mm. the time, you know. 
So would you say human beings were not engineered to chase? Say that again. Human beings were not engineered to chase. Would you say that? Um. Because now you see, you in your country, you 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 economy and you have money, but here we don't have money. But you people Correct. you learning to live here. Would you say life is not all about it's money? It's not all about the money. No, it's not all about the money. And you know, like I said to Marion, when I'm older, am I going to be, you know, on my deathbed wishing that I'd done another flight to Tenerife, mm. or am I wishing I'd spent more time with my family? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's always a fine balance, mm. isn't it? Because. You know, if you're earning good money, you want to get as yes, much saved away, but then you, you don't know how long you're going to live. Yeah. So yeah. it's a balance thing. Out. But I think Kenyans um, should invest their time and their energies into their own country instead of uh, thinking that the grass is always greener uh, oh. overseas in Europe, because it really isn't. Oh, I will repeat that again, because, mm. hey... <laughs> So it has in Kenya. We grow up dreaming to go and live and work in UK. What but I think, think I think people would find it very hard. It's a very expensive country to live mm. now. Property is very expensive to rent. I would say even to buy buy property, then you really do need to have big money, big deposits. Mm. Um, it's not an easy life. Mm-hmm. But um. Maybe I will chip in a little bit. Uh, okay, for yeah. us Kenyans who want to go to another country to work, yeah. it's because our way of government system is not good. Yeah. Mm. Most of us go to university, mm. but you don't get what you went to school for. Yeah. So they kill our dreams. The government kills our dreams. Mm-hmm. And these people from European, they're genuine. You, mm-hmm. know? Yeah. you, you go to an office, you want to be employed and then someone ask you pay something to be employed why am I going to get that money I'm just from university yeah or you asking me Marion we need five years experience yeah where have I worked before yeah mm. I'm from the university yeah. take me in let me have that experience yeah. most Kenyans are educated but they don't have the charm to be able to it's very bad it's yeah. failing us so that's why mm. we are running to other countries because yeah. where the systems are working. Yeah, they're working well. So okay. the mm. system in our country mm. totally poor. Mm. They don't see yeah, us. Yeah. You know, you want to be bright to employ someone's son or daughter with good qualifications. You don't see that. Yeah. You see, we have the money. Mm. You know, mm. so it's us who are killing our own yeah. dreams. Yeah. 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 And to be fair, yeah. I probably don't see that side of things. So mm. my view is obviously going to be a bit biased. Yeah. Yeah. And how was weather and culture and food and people when visited Kenya for the first time? And the weather was perfect, mm-hmm. exactly what I would want. The weather has always been perfect, apart from this trip. Mm-hmm. And even uh, flying in, I took a jumbo jet flight from Nairobi to Diani. Mm-hmm. And even flying in, I was looking at the clouds and thinking, I don't even know if we're going to be able to get in off this. You know, <laughs> the pilot in me was thinking, I'm not even sure if... We, I, I'd changed in Nairobi into shorts <laughs> and style. <laughs> and, uh, I was thinking, oh, my God, this isn't the army. I've never seen weather like that here. You know? So, um, but, yeah, usually the weather is just perfect all day. Yeah. The only things that I miss really, mm-hmm. is there's no real sunset here because of where we are, mm-hmm. just south of the equator. Yeah. By 6.30, the sun is just, it's like somebody's switching off a light. Yeah. yeah? By 6.30, it's dark. Yeah. Um, so it would be nice, you know, if it went dark <laughs> a few hours later, we got a nice sunset. But okay. that is that yeah. is the problem of being here. Yeah. And people? People, generally lovely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really nice. Friendly, everybody wants to be mm-hmm. our friend, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we can't walk down the street without people yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. approaching us. Ever but, faced discrimination maybe because of your color? Only in the, you know, um, only in the same way that every Mzungu does, you know, Mzungu price, mm-hmm. where they try and charge you. We tried to get a tuk-tuk back from the school from an event we were at the other week. <laughs> 
you know, mm-hmm. how much? 500. Mm-hmm. Shilingi and Gappy? <laughs> Shilingi and Gappy? <laughs> Not only can I make Hammer, Nafika, can you marry a Kwanzaa? <laughs> oh. Oh God! This guy's not This guy's not running. In fact, you say that we were walking in uh, Darren, mm-hmm. and I, 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 I was speaking to a guy, wasn't I? To, yeah. to guy, and, and some woman just said to me, "Oh my God, this guy this is Kenyan. This one is Kenyan now. now. <laughs> <laughs> it's good mm-hmm. <laughs> Do Kenyans like Mzungu speaking to Swahili? I don't know. I think that's fairly mixed. That's funny, maybe yeah. Just of them. Mm. Yeah. And maybe racism ever faced. Something like that? No, only in the, in the same way. Just the Zungu price. Yeah, Zungu price. Money no. challenge. Pe- pe- people are nice. People oh, are friendly. Yeah. People are welcoming. They love you. Yeah. You know, people help. Yeah. Don't they? Yeah, they are good. Just people are good. People live money. in the moment. Mm. You know, people are just trying to get by. Culture. I get it. Mm. Culture? I love it. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. I love it. It's different. It's very different from the UK. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I spent a lot of time in mainland Europe as well. Yeah. Especially you know, with my work, traveling yeah. around. Yeah. And it's not like anywhere else in Europe. Being here. Mm. And the beach is beautiful. Yeah. Those lovely sugary beaches. We don't get beaches like that in Europe. Yeah. It's really nice. It's a great place to be. Yeah. And what shocked you? Um. I grew up in what I say is a poor part of the UK, mm. and I thought we were poor. Uh-huh. And then I came here, which is probably one of the better areas of one of the wealthiest countries in Africa. And I have seen poverty here like I would never see in the UK. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So just seeing how poor that people are, mm. and then you know I was asking somebody about the benefit system, the welfare. And, mm. No, no, there's no, mm. there's no benefit system. Yeah, there's no, no, benefit, there's no welfare. Yeah, <laughs> you know, um, healthcare. Yeah. I'm used to a national health service. Mm-hmm. Um, I have private healthcare as well in the UK, yeah. so you're kind of well covered like that. Whereas yeah. here, yeah. you know, money talks. If you don't have the money, you're left with. Um, what do they call them? The state hospitals. Is that what they call them? Public, public. public hospitals. Yeah. And Marion a couple of times has been in for, for just for little things and they don't, oh no, we don't have the equipment mm. or no staff today or oh, yeah. no, we don't have that medicine. Yeah. So, yeah, that's different. Okay. That's really different. Okay. Back to Marion, yeah? Now, hello as Matthew. Mm-hmm. How was that? Like, you were working in, in your shop Mm-hmm. And he was a visitor or a tourist in that mm-hmm. area. Mm-hmm. How was the approach? It was easy because uh, for me, I was like an advisor to me. He could come and tell me um, about other friends he, he, he meet the beach, and then I just like giving him an advice. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not what kind of advice? <laughs> just like, oh, okay, don't take the direction, take this one. Because it's new in Kenya, and oh, I know our everybody wants to be a friend. Yeah? yeah, everyone. Yeah, I know how girls yeah are working in Biani. Yeah, but I didn't knew if like uh, you will come and you will like you will like me or just be like uh, partners or just there. You know, it was out of my mind. I told mm-hmm. you I was not looking for anyone in my life. Yes. I was focusing on um, my my kids and my business. So he used to be my regular customer, customer. just mm-hmm. eating chapatis and few things in yeah. the restaurant, it's a simple restaurant. Yes. Then they could come say, oh, I met this girl one day, they say, no, 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 yeah. don't. Mm-hmm. Just giving him a general advice mm-hmm. as a friend, not yeah. to mess yeah. his life. just no. chatting. Yeah. Now, I remember one day I said to you, um, still on the table. I said something like, oh, I'd like to have two children. Two, two children, a boy and a girl. Do you think you could have more children, Marion? I see. And she looked at me and just said, yeah. If I met the right person, person, and she just looked at me. Oh, and I was thinking, you were just, oh, was just, just casual. Yeah, oh, okay. there's nothing. There's mm-hmm. nothing within her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you could have these questions asking me if I wish to have another child because I would have two kids. Yeah. Then I say to him, yeah, if I'll get a right person, I will have one child to connect mm-hmm. us together. Yes. As, yeah. Mm-hmm. Someone, but I wish to get someone to change my life yeah. and my kids' yeah. life. Yeah. I'm not ready for another. Mm. Uh, bad relationship yeah. and just like that mm-hmm. you know and then he tried to take me for lunch mm-hmm. it was like oh you've been kind to me yeah. i could start him make him feel comfortable and go back without anything okay so he tried to look for me to go for a, 
uh, uh, like I was just agreeing, and then I was stubborn. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would just uh, wish to advise any girl, mm -hmm. if you meet any white person, mm -hmm. don't build like. If you've gone out to see like Jesus or what, it's just human beings like other people. Mm -hmm. so, exactly, it's not that good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't focus it wrongly, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. yeah. And don't be so greedy. Yeah. Don't be so so fast to ask a lot of things. Mm. You don't know this guy. Yeah. Take it slow. Mm -hmm. Because if you are meant to be, mm -hmm. it will come back for you. Yes. So he tried to take me for anything like a drink. Mm -hmm. and then uh, one day, just say, okay. Uh, on Sunday, come and pick me up mm -hmm. because I will be out of my shopping. Mm -hmm. Then over a drink. I yeah. think that bar's closed down now. Mm -hmm. So uh, and then I say to him, I'm going to be uh, clear to you. I'm not going to a very public place like many people. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. because I didn't know if he had a lot of other guys to this because I don't want anyone to point fingers on me that mm -hmm. oh he's dating my zone because of yeah. My I I wanted always my. My, my, my beard to be so clear yeah. you know, because I have my own values yes. that I keep it so safe yes. and my dignity as a woman yes. despite I have two kids yes. I love myself so much yes. so I, I, I chose a place mm -hmm. a place that there's no people there's like a few people yeah. so we stayed with him and then we took some like one, two bottles of beer I remember you bought the first drink he has to, okay who has to from each, like who asked for lunch? Is it you? Him? Oh, me. Yeah. yeah. Going home. Well, we went out at night first time. It, it, like around Wasn't six. It? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then um, he ordered that drink, I ordered my drink, and then I paid the bill. Yeah. Oh, you paid the bill for I the yeah. bill. Because yeah. I wanted to remove anything in his mind, mm -hmm. thinking that this is other, like any other girl mm -hmm. in the yarn who okay. could just swallow my mm -hmm. swallow. I wasn't thinking that, but no. it was nice. It was I wasn't clear time. my name. Mm -hmm. It's the yeah, first time a Kenyan had bought me a drink. Yeah. So I beat it, Bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good tip for Kenyan girls. Yeah. Buy the guy a drink. Yeah. yeah. So I have a question. <laughs> Why did you ask her for lunch that day? Um, because I could see that we were getting on and there was a connection there. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I think I could see it was probably the right time mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can meet the right person at the wrong time. Yeah. In your sure. Life. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I think the timing was good for us both. Mm -hmm. mm. So you felt like you were ready to ha to be in a relationship? I don't know if I was thinking that far ahead. Mm -hmm. I was thinking it would just be nice to go Have out with her and around. get to know her a bit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Why are you ready, Marion? No, Why I was... someone around? No, for me, not yet. Not yet. Mm -hmm. And when I conceived, our son. Okay. Then I had to like, okay. Uh -huh. So this yeah. is 2021, end mm -hmm. of 2021, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. How long did you date? Mm, since now we were serious since January. January. 2022. 2022. Now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that's when we conceived our son. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was to leave with you. She handed me the test. Mm -hmm. I thought okay. you got COVID. Uh -huh. You know, it was funny because <laughs> <laughs> when you asked me about kid and I conceived our son in January. So you discussed to have to continue with it? No. No. We just went for a date and it happened. Oh, just, yeah. Just like I did it. Uh -huh. Then I didn't expect anything from myself. Yeah. Like yeah. it could happen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then so I was not chasing him. Like, oh, where are you? Blah, blah. Because there's nothing with me and him. Uh -huh. For him, it maybe has felt anything. But for me, because I had that fear yeah. before, yeah. I was just in my uh -huh. daily routine. Yes. Until um, February. When I realized I've not seen my whatever in January, yeah. but I say, I don't have anyone in my life. It's the same time Zoom. Yeah. So I had to look for him, text him, because it was about he was to go still to... in the country? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. It was about to go back. Uh -huh. But me... Uh, and you, you had already... You, were you, like, had you created, like, connection or maybe... No, we were still oh, going yeah. in good time. Just, I was yeah. still going in there. We were still spending just, time together. I was yeah. still going in for breakfast. A customer. Oh, a customer. Yeah. Yeah. okay, uh-huh. I but, get it. Uh -huh. so now you're customer. pregnant. But now I say like, oh God, I've missed January and I met in period. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no one. Of course, no doubt. You see. Mm -hmm. So I had to look for him. And then he came back immediately. And then he looked like, oh, he asked me a question. Why are you looking at like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you, show me the you task. approached him like, he's the guy. We are sitting on the same table that he normally sits when he comes to the, the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Then he asked me a question like, why, why am I looking at him with that um, 
eyes and then he, he said are you pregnant and then i ask asked him what well, yes i asked him why are you ask me that question do you think i'm pregnant i just ask you just tell me mm -hmm. then i handed over Pro the test the test yes yeah mm. and, and then I, what was the reaction oh, i was shocked <laughs> why were you shocked i just was <laughs> I was shocked. Did you panic, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Initially. But then I thought, well, that gives that gives my life focus. Yes. Both of us. Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Were you so, shocked, Marlon? I was ready for him to say yes or oh, no. Oh, so you were ready for him? I was. I was very ready. And, and I, I wanted to, because I know most girls, Tend mm -hmm. to to capture belief that they believe that they, they just have to have pregnancy of a mzung yeah. to get them zung. Yes. That's very wrong. Yeah. So I had to set myself straight, like tell him, I'm ready for the child. You're not going to be responsible. Mm -hmm. Because I've taken care of the two. Was, nothing was difficult for me actually to have this. That's you were really taking care of the three. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. I, I, I like your cousin. And you would have so, been able to. <laughs> yeah. So I could take care of my son. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like the rest. Mm -hmm. So, but now because he's a good guy and he loved me, loved my kids, because I brought my kids very well. Because yes. as a single mother, mm -hmm. always streamline your kids' behavior, education. Just make them be good kids because mm -hmm. it makes you easier to, um, to connect with the next yeah. person in your life yes. because if the kids are not disciplined enough yes. it will make your husband so hard mm. to come yeah. together with to the blend kids that to family. blend that yeah. family okay. so I raised my kids mm -hmm. very well mm -hmm. they are good in education, they are leading their classes mm -hmm. they are just brilliant kids yeah. disciplined well, yeah. education perfect yeah. Yeah. so there is nothing I am regretting as a single mother okay. and that's why God said maybe Marion is enough because I used, my mom used to ask me mm -hmm. all those like 6 years we have been alone mm. With all this effort you have, mm. the, the dignity you have, mm. the value you respect yourself, mm. there's no man has ever seen you. Yeah. Mm. And you always say, I pray that one day, one time, mm -hmm. God send you wow. a nice husband. Yeah. Actually, and we went to home, I took him to my mom. I said, Mom, this is the place. Yeah, we flew to Elgin. Yeah, my dream. Yeah. I took her on the first flight. Yeah. My first flight. Hey, first flight to my and, father. And for our I son. Mom, yeah, <laughs> with our son. Okay. Mm. Now, before. You taking him to your home, mm -hmm. you're now pregnant, okay? Yeah, you he went back to the UK. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. in, in the same month, which is uh, February. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to take the pregnancy, pregnancy all along myself and be like, keep back. That time, mm -hmm. we had to close the, the, the restaurant okay. because the girls were the girls who are employed from home. Yeah. I tried to bring people from home to yes. just change their life, just couldn't do it. but they couldn't do it. Yes, so it was hard. Yeah, mm. the, the, the business was depending on me, mm. relying on 100%. Mm. Because I, when I do something special, yeah. I do it from my heart. Yeah. So when I was cooking the food, yeah. every client you cooked with could love. Feel, yes, they could feel yeah. this was not made by Marion. Mm. Wow. It's a shame. So though. they started complaining, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. oh, Marion, the food's not good. So I tried to cover up yeah. until mm. when he came told me no 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 you're pregnant enough shut it down mm. while he was still in the uk yeah, yeah. i closed it down basically mm -hmm. and, and that i was managing the house that time you know food yeah. is are here so we needed marion full-time mm -hmm. managing yeah. this place yeah, uh -huh. yeah. so and the, closed the restaurant time. couldn't manage without her because uh -huh. of it's my customers were crying were yeah. crying like the food is not good enough mm -hmm. it's not you yeah so i say I, i've been covering all along yeah. And then they could not give me the pro the production was so poor, you know. Yeah. Mm. It tend to go down. Yeah. You know? mm. Mm. Because my two business are just they were next one, to each other. There's yeah. another one, the salon. The yeah. salon's being managed well. The yeah. salon's good. Sylvia runs it really right? well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Because um, for us, two of us, we don't like being bossy. Yeah. You know? We love being leaders. So we lead our things, so you follow. Wow. We are not bossy people. So yes. no one could know we are running a salon. Wow. Uh -huh. I could go there, be like a client, sit uh -huh. down, people are conceiving. But I don't uh, behave like I'm, mm. no. Mm. I'm not bossing my, my employees. Yes. And it only takes about yeah. two hours a week of your yeah. time. Yeah. Just yeah. so you could say hi. And yeah. That's it. Yeah. Now you started okay. taking care of your pregnancy, yeah? Yeah, then I keep birth and um, I missed the birth. You missed the birth for a week. Oh, you went back to work. Yeah, yeah I was working to... hard in the UK. Yes. And um, Lawrence arrived early. Yes. And although I planned to be here early, 
Yes. He arrived two weeks early and I missed it oh. by, two, oh. I think, two or three days. Uh-huh. Which is a real shame. So with the next baby, yeah, I made sure that I'm here a month yeah. early. Yeah, yeah. So he came and I just thought it came back just a week. So okay. I missed it. Okay, which is a real shame okay. again. Mm. And before we still continue, I would love to mm. know I, why did you love this girl? Oh, just the, the connection we have together mm-hmm. and the humor we have together. We could share a joke. Sometimes we just look at each other. And I know exactly what she's thinking <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh-huh. about uh, yeah, a joke. We, our humour is what I think connects us, and we have the same the same values. If you agree on like um, yes. religion, financial, parenting, if you agree on those things, yeah. then um, you know Marion always does everything from the heart, mm. and she plays the long game. Mm. She she can see that you know you. You'll never see a photo of us with um, a two hundred bottle, two hundred dollar bottle of champagne in a nightclub, sure, showing off to people. Mm-hmm. You know, look, what we can do. Yeah, it's just not lies, our thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we live a fairly basic, simple yeah, life, yeah. but mm-hmm. out we're always uh, working. Based on the comments that um, there's a comment I got in one of my feed. I was sending a, uh, I was in the land like. Right? Doing some managus, mm-hmm. and one of the comment, one of, one of the girls uh, said, uh, hey, "You are Muzungu, but you still look like a, you still go to learn like a village guy, you know." Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the focus of our girls always, uh, most of them are just seeing Muzungu in a wrong way. Yeah, they think you know? he is the savior, maybe. Muzungu is a human being like our mm-hmm. own black exactly. men. Yes. Okay. Yes. There's those black men who are even richer than these white people. Yeah. Mm. You know? yeah. It doesn't mean that when I'm dating a white guy, I have to change, scare other girls. Mm. You know, mm. like I'm living a, a well done <laughs> yeah. life. You know, yeah. nothing like that. I'm mm. living my life. Yes. I'm not a clubbing girl. Yes. I'm mm. not a girl doing anything. Fa- There's nothing I'm faking in my life. Yes. I will mm. never change. Yes. I will remain Mario. Wow. Some girls told Marion not to date me, didn't they? Don't date yeah. me as a broke Mazungu. This was because I ride a scooter. A scooter. Oh. Now, mm. this, I had no idea that a car in Kenya is seen as a symbol uh, a of wealth. Thing. Having a car in Kenya, it's... Uh, <laughs> in the UK, it's not. <laughs> the poorest people have cars. I mean, oh, I've owned yeah. a car since yeah. the age of 17. Wow. A lot of the time I've owned two and sometimes I've owned three at any time. But I've always owned at least one. Mm. And then I come over here and, and Marion said to me, oh... Um, my friend said, not today, you're a broke Mazungu. I said, because well, why is that? Because you, know, you ride a scooter. I had no idea. You're kidding me. So, no. <laughs> when, when someone uh, dates, there's these things when uh, girls dating Mazungu, when just get Mazungu first time, they tend to just shoot their lives. Yeah. In a lifestyle. Yeah. To go so high. Yeah. You know? Mm. Take life slowly, you know, like, a, oh, I want a car. Mm. You want an iPhone, you know. Mm. This expensive will come later. Yes. But when we met, Try. I did wonder if somebody was funding Marion's life. Mm-hmm. Because she was running two businesses yes. side by side. Yes. She was running a household as a single mom. I knew she had two children. Yes. And I thought, mm, this is um, mm-hmm. either somebody's funding her life. <coughs> Oh, this is seriously impressive. Yeah. It's one of those two things. Yeah. Well, she didn't have the, the three signs, the mm. hair, mm. the nails, yeah. and the iPhone. Yeah. The yeah? <laughs> girls always want an iPhone. Yeah. We did a little video on that. Okay. Um, but yeah, she didn't have those three things. So I have a question, Oli. Mm-hmm. Um, why did you get scared of, you know, Marion getting pregnant? Oh, it's a huge life, a life change, isn't it? Yeah, the life changes. Uh-huh. Yeah. And how did you overcome that? Um, good question. How did I overcome it? Um, I think once it starts to soak in, mm-hmm. the acceptance that your life is going to change, mm-hmm. you can see the positive benefits mm-hmm. in that. I started to get really excited about mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. I mean, our son has brought us nothing but joy mm-hmm. since the day he was born. Mm-hmm. You know, I just I love the bones of it. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm. Okay. And now Marion, at what point did you introduce your two kids to Marion? Or to Oliver. Uh-huh. To, to to Oliver, sorry, yeah. Uh just immediately when I was pregnant I was just 
try now to be together and mm. he could drop my son to school, oh. Damien. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. a gradual thing. Mm -hmm. It's a gradual thing. You know, it doesn't happen just like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing I was scared of because I knew my kids are perfectly brought up kids. Yes. Mm -hmm. And by myself, my I know my father's my dignity is well mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing was scaring me at all mm -hmm. to have any man in my life. Yes. Because my history is just one. Yeah. And I've never dated another man like mm -hmm. that it can make me feel like okay, Oliver could get stories from somewhere. Mm -hmm. No, I was clear. Yeah. yeah I'd I come over, but I, w I didn't stay over. Mm -hmm. I'd come over and spend it, some it, time with them. them. Maybe leave, yeah. I'd spend yeah. some time there and then go back. I was renting a place before we had our own place. Okay. Yeah. So okay. you can come buy us dinner, mm -hmm. take us for like, mm -hmm. just like, like slowly. slowly like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how was the reaction from them? No, they just loved him. They say because you know me, uh, I've never brought any man mm -hmm. in your life, in my life, oh. my kids to see. Yes, he's the second one, and I can say the first one my son has seen. Yes, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. So they could not be get confused like, oh, what has this mom is doing? Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Was so a it bit was shy. easy. Yeah, it yeah. was a bit shy. Uh -huh. But now, so oh, uh, in fact, even I didn't even introduce anything to them. But yeah. my daughter was like, oh, mm -hmm. mom. Uh, Papa Lawrence was a, before they were calling me by Barbara Lawrence, mm -hmm. a very nice guy, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because you could treat the kids like his own, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, yeah. fight them expensive things, you know, just treat them like his own. So for the kids, just for them, they just accept it. It was natural. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's nothing I did actually wow. to get my kids love it. Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. it's just like okay. straight connection. Wow. Mm -hmm. And at, at what point did you introduce him to your other family like mom, dad, sisters, friends. Um, for me, even if you are my son, I never uh, called anyone like I have a white person because I wanted to be sure mm. that this guy Easy. will be in my life because yeah. I don't want another to embarrass me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I stayed with him um, all that one year, but they could still uh, get you know cousins like oh, my course, you know? yeah. But they wanted to hear from me. Yeah. So I had to call one of my brother that, okay, there's this guy, blah, 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 blah. Then I said everything. And they said, okay, he's welcome back to see. Yeah. Ma. Yes. That's where I went to with him this year. Mm. Oh, this year now, 20. Where did we go? To my elder, was it March? Uh, uh, June. June. Yeah. June. March or June. Mm. June, that is when you introduced him yeah. to your family and you were home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah to my, meet my family, mm -hmm. my brothers, my yeah. Mm -hmm. Because for me, I never talk about my life unless I'm sure yes. that it's done. Wow. I don't uh -huh. even do any friend or anyone. There's no step you will hear from me yes. until I see this one's a yes. successful thing. Yes. Yeah, I don't. Mm. And how was the reaction from them? For everyone was happy because they know the struggle I had before. Yeah. What I've gone through, mm. and I don't put them on my family, mm. by the way. Mm. Like, look for me, job. Mm. My, yeah, my, my daughter in school is not at this. No, mm. I believed in myself. Wow. And I was doing all everything on my own. So, taking him home, <laughs> it wasn't a hassle. Yeah. She just said, okay, my own is now safe somewhere. Yes, has someone to take care yeah. of. Yeah, <laughs> now I can kneel on, you know. She has, yeah. So I have a shoulder to kneel on. And everyone's like happy for me, okay. like, especially my mom. Mm -hmm. Was like, oh god, this man has come now. I was w wishing like to get to take someone. Yeah, <laughs> everyone would see in my family the way I was working hard. I could genuinely do my own things on my own, not bothering anyone. Like, oh, they need some money. Oh, mm -hmm. because the rent I was, the house I was, pay, I was staying, it was not cheap. It was eighteen thousand mm -hmm. per month. Wow. I could pay that one. The school that my kids are going to say, the Joseph. Not cheap, ex cheap mm. school, mm. expensive. Mm. I was doing it myself, mm. so I was proud of myself. Taking it, yeah, home. you're doing well. Mm. My mom was very happy. Mm. Now mm. life's isha for me now. Wow. I can stay home, mm. not working for anyone. And you, Olive, at mm. what point did you introduce her to your friends and maybe talk to your family about her? Um, fairly early on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told my family. We have uh, video calls occasionally. Mm -hmm. Um. My good friend has been out here, as I say, four times. Mm -hmm. You know, he gets on well with Marion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. I've got another friend coming out as well mm -hmm. in January mm -hmm. for the first time. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to visit me now. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 When do you want to interested you? in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's our home here now. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. 
And were you scared maybe her introducing you to her kids? Uh, no, mm-hmm. no, I wasn't scared. Mm-hmm. You were really quiet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, because they come as a package, you know, and I knew that. Mm. And I wouldn't want it any other way. And they're great kids. Mm. You know, they're so good. Mm. They're doing well at school. Damien's super sharp. Grace mm. is doing well. Mm. You know. Okay. And I have a personal question. Mm. Olive, growing up, were you not like prepared maybe to get kids all your life? Or maybe things changed along yeah, the way? It doesn't always happen, does it, for, for everyone? It wasn't you know, a priority. It happens when, mm-hmm. when it when it happens, you know, you sometimes can't plan these things, yeah. can you? And as I say, I had tried previously mm. with a girlfriend. We've been through the IVF treatment yeah. and it didn't work. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you, it doesn't always work out as you might. Oh, yeah. Now this is the right time. Of course. Two kids now already. Wow. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> New one. Okay. So now you've started dating, you've introduced each other to your friends and family. How is life now? You said the other day you don't have any worries. Yeah. You, you don't have any worries anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, which is quite nice. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't really have many worries mm-hmm. in life. Mm-hmm. We're in a good position. Yeah, and know. our lives is easy because we might in we have many things in common. You know? Yeah, we mm-hmm. fall out. Mm-hmm. We have arguments, but on the important stuff, we're always in agreement. Mm-hmm. And family comes first, mm-hmm. always. We always content to be together in the house, not mm-hmm. even going outside. Yeah. Not yeah. that not he can't take me for a meal. Well, he we takes me for a meal, mm-hmm. but doesn't mean that when I go for a, a meal, mm-hmm. I call post that oh I'm today in this hotel. Yeah. No, I I go I go with him in many places, many hotels, expensive hotels. Yeah. But it's not our lifestyle to be like uh, taking pictures, you know, and sending on social media that oh. I'm having champagne, I'm having cocktail, mm. we are in this bar. It's yeah. not our life. Yeah. If God sure. gives you someone, yeah. give your happiness to yourself. Yes. We, and that's not our thing, really. It's I not mean, our thing, no. We like, I mean, Marion will cook me green grams on the charcoal, and yeah, we're going to get an outside fun, pizza you know? oven and, and things like this. Mm. That's like, it's just what we're into. We're into a more simple mm. lifestyle. We, we don't want for anything. We don't have to exchange our time for money, which is great. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Connection and creating memories. Yeah, mm-hmm. just yeah. be happy being yeah, at home. Being happy. But other people just want you to be like uh, sending uh, pictures that you got a white guy yeah. to feel like you making a I saw this idea is crazy. Even like I was just thinking then about shopping. Like so, we said to Marion. Uh, yeah. What? Because we go to a supermarket called yeah. Sam Rats yes. in town, and it's where Kenyans go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You don't it's really cheaper. see any Mazungas in there. But and the park right outside, it's got everything I need. It's cheaper than Nivers, mm-hmm. and, it's, it's, and there's very rarely a queue at the tills because mm-hmm. I hate mm-hmm. queuing for anything. Yeah. Right. And I'm thinking, why wouldn't I go there? Mm-hmm. And they, it's, somebody said to Marion, "Oh, now you have a Mazunga. You shouldn't don't be going there." Sam <laughs> Go to Naipa. <laughs> the bridges, uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's been cool. Yeah. This the money that he has that spending with me with my kids is like uh, oh. my money. Yes. Why should I go spend expensive, uh, buy expensive things? Mm. The same, same, same things I can get in the yeah. other shop. Yeah. I don't to have a, a long queue. You know, we're mm. saving time. Mm. So oh, don't take, don't take him to such a small supermarket. Yeah. Yeah. I always shop there. Yeah. yeah. So we shop somewhere. And I have a question, Marion. Mm-hmm. Since he is working in the UK and he visits during winter, mm-hmm. how is it raising all of your kids alone, including even taking mm-hmm. care of your pregnancy? You know, uh, being a, a mother, something very important to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, because me, I love my kids and I love being a mother because. Being a, a woman in a house, you either you have two things to do. You either the suited family mm-hmm. or you build it. Mm-hmm. So for me, that my first priority, my family always comes first. Is it so, hard? It's not hard because <laughs> wow, <laughs> just mm-hmm. being a mother is not hard. Just accept. Don't Natural. need to be. Yeah, yes. I cannot be away from uh, them. And we have, I have we have Rosaline, our housemate, and we have Rachel. My, my, my sister's daughter. Your mm-hmm. niece. Yeah, yeah, my niece. So they help you to take care of mm-hmm. other things, yeah? Yeah, small things, yeah. but still, mm-hmm. uh, I still do a lot of things in my house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
as I told to you, I'm a natural girl. Yeah. I'm not faking anything. Yeah. So my life is more easier yeah. when I make it real. Yeah. I don't fake. Yeah. So if I could make it uh, like fake uh, my life, mm -hmm. it would be more hard for me to be with these kids. Yes. And I want to spend my life with my kids. Mm -hmm. As much as God can give me to be with them, yeah. mm -hmm. I'll spend with them. Yeah. And how is it? Is it hard to be a wife in a long distance relationship? No. Everything wow. is about accepting. Uh -huh. it, it, it. Yeah, when with the flow. Yeah, you have to accept this is my life. Once you accept everything in your life, yes, just know. Yeah, I like you. How are you? <laughs> I know my mom's working in UK, working hard for me to be and in such a situation, funny. you know, yes. raising our own kids together, you know. Mm. I should not have, like, okay, because a white guy is, is a pilot, mm. he has a lot of money. Mm. He's been spending out there, going out and mm. uh, saying, okay, the money is flowing like a river. Mm. The time will come until the river can try. Yeah, sure. Mm. Mm. So I'm using his money wisely. Definitely. Yeah. Very wisely. And you only, yeah. it is mm. hard to be in a long distance relationship, your family being here now? We, it, it is hard. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, I say it's getting harder. Mm -hmm. Last time I went back, handing my son over, uh, it's, it's just awful. I can't tell you how it feels, mm. knowing that you're going home for three, four months. Without being yeah. around your family. Uh, it's, oh, it's awful sometimes. And he had he had a little operation at the hospital, just like on his tongue. Yeah. And Marion sent me a photo of him like, on the on the oh, hospital yeah. bed. And there's times like that where you know you're seven thousand yeah. kilometres away. Yeah. You know he's in safe hands. Mm. You feel it makes me feel sad. Yeah. But we like chat every dad. day. Yeah. And we mm. chat. We we do you know FaceTime, but, video calls. Mm. We're trying to make it work, and we're usually working on something together as well, mm -hmm. aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there is that connection there. Yeah. But we're always counting down the days until yeah. Yeah. the next trip. And but yeah, it's getting harder. Yeah. And now, what's the plan since you're living there? Where are you planning to settle? We will family? settle here. We don't think this is our forever home. Mm -hmm. We think we're going to build something bigger and, oh, with, dream. Mm -hmm. and with some kind of Set up life, yeah. extra properties there as well. Mm -hmm. I think that will probably be our next yes, plan with me to sort of phase out aviation gradually. Mm -hmm. Really, I mean, I'm, I'm already doing what I can. I mean, five or six months a year yeah. is pretty good. Mm. You know, at the moment, yeah, it's not perfect. Yeah, um, I think what would help is if we can get a trip for Marion and maybe the two youngest yeah. children to come to the UK during the UK summer. Yeah. That would really help. Why? Break things Why up the two and not the Because four? I think it will be really difficult for the for visas the for, for and to travel yeah. with four. Yeah, it, yeah I think it's school just, again. Because and of they're in the school. Visa too, right? And they're in school. Yeah, Thanks. you know, yeah. I think it's too much. Okay. Yeah. So the plan is to relocate here and live here. Absol oh, our our yeah. plan is is here. Yeah, okay. there'll be a trips over to um, the UK, okay. and as as I say, our children will have British passports, which okay. which will help. Yeah. But there's no plan other than to be here. I want to get my residency in Kenya. There's three ways I can do that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's the plan okay. for me to get my residency. Okay. And you, Marion, are you comfortable living here in Kenya and not in the UK? Yeah, because in my community, Kalenjin, you know, always a woman belongs where the, the husband. Their husband. Mm. So if my husband says he's happy in the end, mm. of course I will be happy. Here. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just happy anyway he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he loves to be in the end. Then yeah, we're sure. going to be the end. Yeah. We're going to be in UK, like just going for like a tour thing. And yeah. And my children, like, those are British kids, so yeah. they'll be going there, like, mm. going to yeah. Nairobi. Yeah. And the other two kids, again, they're benefiting, they're just siblings, yeah. all my kids. Yeah, siblings, yeah. So the right time, just come for them to go to UK, and, sure. yeah. yeah. Okay. And for the moment, yeah. just planning for him to come here, because we want to invest a lot in Kenya. Ever mm. been to UK? No, no, but maybe next year, because yeah. we are waiting for them. Okay. Yeah. And after that? After that, do you have plans to add more kids? No. No. <laughs> That's an emphatic. No. So no. The family four is complete. Kids, it will be. Two girls, 
So, so, so you expecting a girl? Yeah, yes, it's yeah. a girl. Wow, she'll so be ready. Ready. She'll have a challenging middle name. We won't say we, which. Yeah, we'll, call, we'll give yeah. her my mom's name. Yeah. yeah. At the middle. Are they still alive? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My mom is still alive. My father passed away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. But our son has my dad's name. Yeah. Yes, Lawrence Francis. Francis. Francis, my father. And you, Olive, do you mm. have your parents at us? Are your parents alive? Uh, my mum is alive. She still lives in Blackpool where oh. I grew up. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Ah, amazing. And Marion, why do, why do you love Olive? Ah, uh, we just connect so much. I just connect with him. For me, there's things I didn't want in a man. Yes. Alcoholic man. Uh huh. Secondly, which is someone's too smoking too much. And someone with some touch. Ah, so you were so clear physically, you don't want to. <laughs> it's one thing that makes me happy. Mm. It does, it's not alcoholic, man. Wow. Not someone I like a drink. You know. it, it drinks, it but it's not like someone, oh, every time oh, I'm going. No, no, no. He loves being at home. Yes. And I love being at home. Oh. So that's one thing that makes me uh, love him so much. And he's kind, of, I'm, I'm kind. Yeah. So he's kind yeah. of, yeah. So we have. Many things in common, a lot of things we have in common. Mm. Yeah. We have the same yeah. drive, I think, and enthusiasm. Yeah. And mm-hmm. we love businesses, running businesses together. Yeah. Yeah. So. And Oli, mm. in Kenya, Kenyan men. Okay. Mm. What's the plan? Are you planning to marry at Mario? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Process. And in Kenya, men pay their wives to their wives. Do yeah. You have plan to do those. Yeah, I cultures. think Mario said I can pay in goats or cash. Said, yeah, I'll, I'll march the goats in myself. Yeah. I'll march them into your mum's village. No problem. Okay. <laughs> and Marion, what are the challenges of dating a British man? We don't see any challenge. Mm-hmm. I don't see any challenge with him again. And only what a challenge of dating a, a The only Kenyan challenge is, the only challenge is the logistics, the time apart and yeah juggling everything so that I can spend as much time here in Kenya. Yeah. Because it's, it's the time that we the, time. the time that we want together. Yeah. And there's always that feeling you know that you're here, you're on a visa. Yeah. Your visa will expire, mm. you have to renew it. There's always that feeling mm. that um, your time is limited. Well all yeah. our time is limited. Yeah. But you're you're more aware of it yeah. in this kind of relationship. Yeah. Than if I was in the UK just dating a British yeah. girl. Yeah. Because Marion gets asked a lot of yeah. times mm-hmm. how to meet. Um, how I can connect someone with yeah. a white guy, or how can someone, a girl, meet a white guy? Yeah. So you could say something like this. Like this eh? um, for Kenyan girls who want to date British men, eh? what would you love them to know? Ama, what advice do you have for them? You know, when you tell me uh, to connect you with someone, actually it's a very hard um, thing to do. Mm-hmm. Because I might connect you and you might not, you know, like bond the together. Yeah. So, it's just like uh, going, uh, maybe, I don't know how <laughs> someone can connect someone with someone. Mm-hmm. The connection that be easy for you to be connected with someone mm-hmm. is when, whereby we were friends, together, like yeah. me and you, Miss Peter, we are friends. Yeah. Then maybe I, I, I invite you to come home. Yeah. Maybe we have some friends from the UK. Yeah. That's how you, like, connection comes. But I'm not connecting you. Yeah. But it happens you to visit me as a friend. Yeah. And we are friends from the UK. Yeah. That's the easy connection. Mm-hmm. It's a fair connection. Yes. But there's no way I can go and say, okay, you white man, because this girl <laughs> wants to. Want exactly. To Chances are it wouldn't work anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? So girls don't focus. So Out. much yeah. of dating a white guy. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because you might even uh, wait for fifty years mm-hmm. to get a white guy. Yeah. yeah. Because it was not meant for you to be yeah. with him. Yeah. So don't underrate or underestimate these black boys for hours. Mm-hmm. They still black men who are good. Yeah. Of course. It's so. about personality yeah. of yeah. someone. Yeah. Not all white people are nice. Mm-hmm. Even most of the girls I, in relationship with white people, mm-hmm. they're not happy. Mm-hmm. They're not happy. Yeah. So if someone posts you someone like, oh, um, don't think she's happy. Mm-hmm. Maybe she's faking it. Yeah. So men are just human beings. Yeah. White and black are still 
men. Yes. I could still date a black man if it was to be me to date a black man. Yes. But God gave me the white girl. I was looking for a skin color. Yeah. No. Yeah. It was brought by God to a down step of my yes. life. Yes. So don't keep focusing. Where am I going to get a white person? Mm -hmm. You are losing the focus and direction of your life. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Focus something. Do something for yourself. Yeah. Someone just you can meet someone in yeah. But also the guys are just as bad as the girls sometimes. I mean, Marion's family were here um visiting recently. And one of the girls, she's what, twenty eight, twenty nine? Mm -hmm. Very 29. pretty girl, degree mm -hmm. educated from Eldoret, working here as a teacher. Mm -hmm. What I would call a top tier girl, you yeah. know. And she said that she'd been out with her sister in a nightclub Magnata here in Diani mm -hmm. just the night before, mm -hmm. and some sweaty offers hung up come up to her and, and you know, said, Oh, you, you want me? Mm -hmm. you know, like, ah, ah, Nini. And I was like, There's no way he would do that if he was back in Germany. There's no mm -hmm. way on this earth mm -hmm. he would approach a girl like that mm -hmm. and start doing that. Mm -hmm. But because they're here, they think they can get away with it, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the guys are every bit as bad as the girls, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. because the, again, these are German people. We don't respect our girls. Because know. of how they treat yeah. themselves. And I, somehow I blame our girls a little bit because we were doing it like we were just so, so, so um, easy mm -hmm. to give ourselves to these old people. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we told them that we are valuable for you old people. Because I was asking only but if any old man can date a young girl in Europe, mm -hmm. nowhere. No. So we have to respect ourselves. Mm. You know, you don't have to just say because I'm Zoom with yeah. old. Yeah. I have mm. to go. Yeah. We've seen guys like yeah. 70. So, this so was Zoom was not even respect Only mm. you being in Kenya before meeting Marion, were mm. you approached by girls or? Yeah, I tell you what, less so in Nairobi. I've noticed the Mazungi doesn't really create much attention at all. Mm -hmm. In Nairobi, I never felt it at all. Mm -hmm. It was just like being um, in uh, many other busy cities that I've been in. Mm -hmm. When I came to the coast, I wasn't really prepared for it. Yeah. it you know, if we walk around Diani, people stare, guys whistle, which is really strange. They mm -hmm. don't do that in the UK. Mm -hmm. You know, guys will whistle at me, which I think is really yeah. strange. I yeah. say to Marion, why, why are they doing that? <laughs> right. uh -huh. uh -huh. That's, that's, that's a cultural like? difference. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, as I say, girls, I've, the place I was renting, I had girls like turn Eating up at the you. gates yeah. of the place. They found out where you live. People you, getting your name through M-Pesa, messaging you. When you've been in somewhere to pay for something, that happened. That's happened several times. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you you will any white guy here will create an attention. I mean, only one in every thousand people in Kenya is white. Mm. In the UK, I think eighteen out of every hundred mm. is non-white. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here, a white person is a rare sight. Mm. There's a lot more on the coast, but. You create more interest on the coast than mm. what you do in Nairobi, which I thought was strange. Mm. I would have thought it was the other way around. Yeah. yeah. So, w w for for white guys or mm. for British men who mm. are planning to visit Kenya, like for already for the first time, yeah. what would you love them to know about Kenyan girls? Um, most of the girls you meet will see you just as a walking cash till. What does that mean? They're, they're just interested in money. I've spent time with girls in the past and, you know, been out for drinks and I sort of tried to get to know them. And I was out with one girl and I thought, what's my middle name? Where am I from in the UK? What accent have I got? Which airline do I work for? <laughs> she knew nothing. <laughs> nothing at all about she's, me. She's just interested. All in she was interested in was I was there, I had a wallet, and I can pay for what You're she white. needs. <laughs> yeah? So it depends what guys want, yeah. as I always say. It depends what you want. If you want a relationship with some kind of longevity out of things, yeah. then, you know, you need to take your time and be careful about who, you, who you're going out with. Mm. I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so when they visit, they be aware that girls, most of them... Most girls, yeah. 
Interested. Yeah. But I don't think that one happens actually in 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 all in, 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 in every yeah. in every town, Baba Lawrence. Mm. If you go to like Bungoma, Kakameka, Eldoret, you know, Nairobi, people may mind their own businesses. It's the culture that Indian people the are looking. Thing? It's something that people think because white people are many in coast region, they tend to just come and look. They are they're hunting these people, you know? Exactly. Mm. They're hunting them. Yeah. Yeah. So when you go to a place like Bungoma or any. We call them barra places. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think if any cultures come and say oh, you want me or you uh, yeah, like yeah, you're trying. Right. You know, uh, there's something it's unique I, here. Most of the girls are looking for like a life support machine. Yeah. They need a guy to come in and literally kickstart them into life. Yeah. Whereas you know, with Marion, uh -huh. she was already life was already. Yeah, she had happening. life before. Yeah. yeah, yeah she was going I, places. Even I just happy. don't like. It's a shameful thing. For a girl to come and choose a man, mm. only for me, like me, yeah. I will never choose a man myself. Mm -hmm. No, I believe in our culture in Kalenjin, a man is meant to and a girl, mm. not a girl to and the, 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 the man. Yes, that gives a very sign yes. of your behavior, yeah. character, mm. and, and dignity ah. and values. Yeah. So for us, we don't go for men. Yeah. Men go for us. Yes, and the men, ladies, please just. Wow. But that happens in the end most of the time. Mm. Ladies, a young girls, 20 years, 22. Yeah, yeah, you go and just say hi to someone you don't you know. How old you man? Your grandma. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. That is someone, a black handsome guy yeah. outside there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. They're still human beings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how does it feel early to be taken advantage of? By Kenyan girls, I hate common. it. I hate it. It is bad. Eh? Mm. Yeah. 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 I mean, who wouldn't hate being treated like that? Mm. Mm. So now that you live in Kenya and your family is in Kenya, what's your favorite food here? Oh, you know, it's nothing that exciting. But it's probably yeah. chapati, green, green grams, mm -hmm. and some hot and sweet sauce. <laughs> yeah. Chapati green crumbs. And hot and sweet sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. So any plan to officiate your marriage? Yeah. yeah. In the near future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Soon, but I'm not going to tell you when. She's mm -hmm. not been asked yet. Yeah. Must. <laughs> <laughs> and what are your future marriage plans? Mm. Just have to get married in Kenya soon because I want him to get the rest Yeah, mm -hmm. in three years and that's why I want to do it soon for him to mm -hmm. be located, be like, come on in your home. Mm -hmm. Just going back to UK, I mean. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And maybe you can say about them that you want to invest here and stay here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I want to. Now, like uh, every morning, like you wake up, you want to, you actually to look for land. Mm -hmm prime places you know like near the beach you want to invest so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. because for him mm -hmm. he loves investing yeah and because i'm a business lady yeah. i'm here to support him 100 percent yes mm -hmm. so we are going to build some nice cottages pillars you know mm -hmm. for future so that we can be having a stable life that mm -hmm. income every month you know yes, to support your family. yeah and we don't have to be sitting in the house anyway if we need to be active in the field like mm -hmm. very stable and we want to hold many different business as we can yes uh, to make us busy and our life to run smoothly yes mm -hmm. and the sweet message to your husband mm, i would always love him i, I would always choose him mm. it's a unique mm. person you know mm -hmm. yeah, i love him so much uh -huh. mm. yeah. and all your sweet message to your wife oh the best decision she made <laughs> the best decision she made was coming from Eldoret to uh diani <laughs> The second best decision she made was uh, agreeing to come for a drink with me. So thank you for that. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. And if your children come along this video, maybe in future, what message do you have for them? Like, um, as feelings. Yeah. For them to just be disciplined, focus on the right thing, you know. And yeah, be good people to other people, be kind, you know. Mm. Be just generally good kids. Anyone, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm.
Whatever you're doing, do it well. Whatever you're doing, do it well. Yeah, do it well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was nice having you guys in this channel. Yeah. Thank so, you. <laughs> welcome. So, if people want to follow more of your of your life mm -hmm. and uh, stories, mm -hmm. I think we will link your channel in the description below. Okay. Mm -hmm. or, or pin it in the first comment. Yeah. What Great. do you think? Yeah, yeah, if you're interested in following <laughs> our family life in Kenya, mm -hmm. click on the link below. Yeah. And subscribe to our channel. Tell yeah. them to come and join your family. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. We're just starting now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, amazing.